So everyone asks me, Rich, how do you juggle all these businesses all at one time? You're working on 50 things all at once. And I tell them it's all about time management. It's so, so important for you to have a Google Calendar or an equivalent on your phone or on your computer or your laptop. And I think it's very important and it's been very helpful to me to each day have a little bit of a to-do list on your calendar and tell yourself, okay, great. I'm going to be working on this between these hours and this between uh, these hours. And believe it or not, you get a lot done that way. And what I like about it is it's not overwhelming because in my mind, I'll have so many things to do. And I think to myself, how am I going to get it all done? But I have it all written down. A business is like your baby. When you start a business, it's like starting a family. You need to tend to it. You have to nurture it, right? And you have to give them time. I think that's a very super, super efficient tool for you to start a business using Google Calendaring, having even just like an old school scrapbook where you have a calendar in it and it has dates and times. And I still have like a calendar, just like my business card. I still love having my stack of business cards, Rolodex over here with all my uh, numbers over here, all old school approach and uh, love that. And I think it's important to note that it may not work for everyone, but I think this is a tool and a solution for you to juggle numerous things at once. And don't get overwhelmed. If you feel that you are juggling too many things at once, right? You may have to drop a thing or two. And that's happened to me numerous times before. I think it's really all about time management and also knowing when to say no and to stop. I, I've asked this question to a lot of people over the years. How do you juggle many things all at one time? People have different answers. Some of them just say, I just go with the flow. I get the emails. I respond back to them. I could be working on five things. And if I get an email from this business, I respond. And I've got numerous responses to that. But I like to focus on one thing at a time. I'll go back to my emails on my events company and respond back to the emails with that particular email address and get back to those people within that time period so that my mind is not constantly changing and having to go back and forth to different businesses that I own because they're all different, right, in a sense. They're all like a unique industries. It's great. I think everyone should have time management skills, whether or not you own your own business, whether uh, you are working for someone else, uh, because I think it's just good for the soul. So what I do is I typically like to follow what my calendar says, unless there's a really major issue going on. Ultimately, the customer, the client is right. And sometimes you have to pivot and adapt and not get frustrated. And you may have to change your work uh, schedule to adapt to you know your audience and your clients and your potential clients.